Okay, so to continue on with the Tolman theory discussion here, I've got an example on the board for you, and we're going to first look at the, the thesis statement aspect of, of this theory and um, focus on the data and the claim. Okay? Uh, and remember, I said data was also, uh, you can see that as a reason. So the example, it's a little extreme, is that cocaine and heroin should be legalized because legalization will eliminate the black market. And I would like to say to uh, anybody out there who's concerned that I'm putting forth this argument, um, administrators, uh, very conservative folks, that sort of thing, this is actually from a t writing uh, textbook. It's called Writing Arguments by Ramage, Bean, and Johnston. So this is their example, and it's a pretty good one. Um, but I also want to talk about this example is it is extreme, okay? But if you uh, put marijuana in place of cocaine and heroin, this is actually one of the argu arguments that we see uh, put forth with the legalization of marijuana debate. And um, if, you, if you change this around a little bit, it should be legalized uh, because uh, prison rates uh, would go down or that type of thing. You know, that, that is also an argument taking place in our society, so. Um, but the extreme nature of this particular uh, sentence allows us to deconstruct, uh, to use, uh, use this to effectively deconstruct it and show you a theory. So, um, so data and claim is what we're focused on here, okay? And because they're usually presented as data and claim on this linear representation of the theory, D, C, People always assume that the uh, first part of the sentence is the data and then this is the claim. Uh, but that's not actually the case. So don't let that fool you. Okay? Uh, so the claim is the thing that is arguable. So what is being argued here? Okay? Cocaine and heroin should be legalized. That's the argument. Because someone else could go, no, -uh, no, it shouldn't. All right, and when someone can do that, then you know you have an argument. Okay, that means you have a great argument yet. But cocaine and heroin should be legalized. This is the point that I want to make in this essay that I'm writing for you. Okay, um, is this something that you're going to buy automatically? Probably not. So I got my work cut out for me. So this is the claim, the thing that is arguable. Okay. And, of course, you can also think about it um, as in a greater overall essay structure. The claim is going to have subclaims, you know, your supporting paragraphs and that type of thing. Okay? But let's just say this is the thesis statement for my essay. Here is the claim, and here is the data or the reason. Okay? Data, claim. Okay, so uh, one of the words that we have served on a lot of good for us here is the word because. And if you can construct a thesis statement that uses the because uh, construct, <laughs> sorry, um, you are usually going to have a fairly well substantiated uh, or, or, or uh, the opportunity to substantiate a pretty solid argument here. Okay? Um, because we've built in complexity. We have something that's arguable, and we have a big overarching reason uh, to, uh, for this argument. Okay? So when you're constructing thesis statements, which is difficult, I think, I always tell my students that was the toughest part for me as a writer, in undergrad especially, is because I never got to take Comp 1 or Comp 2. I didn't learn this. Okay? And so when I was writing thesis statements. It's like, how do you capture your entire essay in one sentence? It's not, it's not easy. Um, but this is the beginning of how you do that, okay? And what else do I want to tell you here? Oh, the data um, can also be called uh, grounds or fact, okay? It's the reason that you're making the argument. And thus concludes. Step one of Tolman theory.